My name is Maya. I'm a 19 years old refugee from Syria. And today, I have prepared for you a few Syrian day-to-day -day water hacks. Something that can be quite useful to anyone in this room, should you find yourself having your human right to water and sanitation not fulfilled anymore. First, install a water tank on your roof and make sure it has a center fegal pump so you would always get water even when the primary source is cut off. And then always check if the primary source of water is pumping water. And that's because so at some points the water source would be cut off. And that's because the area where the water is being supplied from would have some more activities. And then us, civilians, would need to suffer. Second, limit your showers. In case you don't know, showering uses a lot of water. My brother has often had to share because we wouldn't have enough water. But you know, like they say, sharing is caring. Third, start practicing climbing of some sort because you will regularly need to climb up the roof and check if the water tank has enough water. Fourth, be nice to your neighbors. There was one time when water took longer than expected to fill up again. So luckily our neighbor was abroad and we called him and asked if we can borrow water from his tank. Gratefully, he accepted. Fifth, be prepared to share your toilet with anyone. I know that might not sound as bad, but believe me, it's horrible. My auntie lived one level under us, and there was one day when she cooked without checking the primary source of water is pumping water. And so they ended up draining their tank. And so when her three kids wanted to go to the loo, there was no water for flushing nor for cleaning up. And so they all came to us. All what I could think about was how many kids went in and out the loo without flushing it. I went on a strike today and didn't go to the loo. After having offered you my water hacks, it would probably be common sense to wish for you that you find them useful. But I don't. I wish that you and that no one will ever have to use them again. Thank you.